today topic is uh, i moderate this uh, topic as good practices in pre construction to uh, deliver successful successful project so in this lecture i am not going to uh, teach you i am not going to teach you about uh, theories what i am going to share with you my experience through uh, especially in middle east and uh, some other region where construction uh, peaks uh, are there and through some uh, case studies yeah so already naling explained about my uh, background so this is uh, my academic background so my industrial background is uh, i i have worked uh, bk gulf dubai from uh, 2006 to 2013 as senior electrical engineer when i resigned from the company I was a deputy project manager uh, in ELV systems. Uh, then later on, I came to Sri Lanka, 2013. Uh, now I am uh, serving my services to uh, ProLighting Group uh, as a co-founder and a director. Uh, recent, uh, since a couple of years back, uh, I have diversified uh, my profession into business consultancy and project consultancy in related to construction. Because as we all are engineers, uh, we have to be dynamic, not statistics. So sometime in the future also, you also have to be a dynamic. Engineers should be like that. Yeah. So uh, why I explain about my industrial background, uh, then uh, I can then easy to understand that, get the knowledge about my experience uh, in with these countries. These are the mega structures in Dubai I have been, uh, I have involved. So this was my uh, first project in Dubai. Uh, I think you uh, almost should know about this uh, project, Atlantis Hotel, the Palm Dubai. This project uh, started 2006 and completed 2008. This is a 28 months project, very big project. Construction cost was uh, $2 billion around at that time. Uh, as I'm an MEP engineer, uh, I need to show you this project size in uh, MEP uh, electrical, electrical uh, point of view. That's why I mentioned this project has uh, 52 numbers of transformers, each 1.5 MVA. It means total load is 75 MVA. It is. It means it is bigger than all Lakshapana. Then you you can see the size of that that project. Then from day one to uh, finishing this stage, I was there. Then uh, I have worked uh, Lake Fountain, Dubai also as a testing commissioning engineer for uh, some months for the same company. Then uh, some uh, other mega structures uh, in Dubai. So I think who, who has uh, Middle East experience, uh, they should know these projects. These are key projects there. So then when I resigned from Dubai work, so I fi finally I worked for New York University. Uh, Saadia Thailand Abu Dhabi. It is again very big projects, uh, big projects. Uh, why I explain this project through my case studies and knowledge sharing in, in co coming uh, slides, I will use uh, this, these projects. So these projects I have in no less uh, construction, during the construction, it's mean part of post-construction team. Also during uh, in BK Gulf, in normally Middle East as Narin explained, 2008, new concept they started to practice, pre-construction. It came with the uh, international global financial crisis. It's badly hit to the Dubai as well. Then they, in the projects, project management model, they practice pre-construction. Pre-construction means, I will explain later more, so these are the pre-construction projects. Uh, personally, I involved some projects we got, some projects we lost. It means uh, Tamir Towers in Dream Island, Cleveland Clinic Hospital, Abu Dhabi. This is at that time. This is uh, this has been called as a seven-star hospital. Seven-star means it's a luxury hospital to the royal family as well. So Lou Museum. This is a branch of uh, Paris uh, Lou Museum. So these are the pre-construction project I involved. Today workshop, today session, I, I am going to discuss and 
to these areas. International construction market size and growth rate. Analyze the history and future of construction industry. Today, engineer role in competitive construction industry, pre-construction in modern construction industry, and pre-construction tools and benefit. Finally, benefits from pre-construction with some case studies. As Nalin explained, to as Nalin explained, I will switch uh, Singhala language also. So, other lecture ke may 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 objectives tika mama ekay ka vidhi hita touch karna flow ka vidhi hita godak pilaavat yave na le may ka theory patta de bara na thi hinda. Ito to gollo may may tika tama mama kawal karan na balapurutwin ni adal. Badly in Sri Lanka now, our construction market has been dead. It almost dead. That the reality. As per my knowledge, and I think uh, some of you also were very well aware, this will not come up uh, to pre like previous uh, progress till 2020, 2025, 2026. But as engineers, as I said, Engineers are not made for the local. Engineers are making for the global contest. Apey then world day katta ma world day ke ek taudro tar loku nae ka apikya ne world day ke like a village. Therefore, when we practice pre-construction or pre-sales etc., so to perform, you have to you have to think out of the box. Otherwise, you can't survive. Who has international experience? They know what I am talking. In the future, in, in, Sri, Lanka, in Sri Lankan contest, if, we, if even we have bad picture, but globally, we have very good picture in the construction industry till coming 40 to 50 years. So this is uh, some uh, data. I pick from uh, globaldata.com. If you are interesting, you can go to that website. You can get more detail uh, in detail. 2021, total global construction market was around 11 trillion. This is uh, not very well recorded yeah, because some countries uh, not uh, very well recorded these figures. But when it is pumped to the region, so I, I, I got example in especially uh, MENA region. MENA means Middle East and uh, North Africa region. This is the most construction happening region in the world. The reason is as a Sri Lankan engineers, especially South Asian age, South Asian engineers has good opportunity to work in Middle East countries, not like other countries. You can't go to China to work from here. You can't go to the India from here. You can't go to the States. Even we, uh, there are barriers are there. But as a free engineers, you can go to the Middle East. So UA, this is uh, UA figures, uh, 86 billion. In 2021, by 2026, it will hit to 115 billion uh, case. It means uh, South, Saudi Arabia in uh, 2021, 120 billion dollars. By 2026, 162 billion. Egypt, this is the figures, uh, 64.2, 113 by 2026, uh, Qatar like that. As a density, you can see in UA, as a density, that's the most highest construction density in, the, uh, in Dubai. Yeah. So when you work in any company, any construction related company, you should analyze global picture. Then only you can plan the future, which is benefit you to the personally and to your company also. Then sometimes you have to find a job for you or your company, other regions. You have to plan for that. So that uh, as a smart uh, engineer, as I explained, uh, you should study the history and the future in relevant region. Some case study in the past, Palm Dubai. I think uh, I have noticed first lecture also, first lecture have explained about uh, Palm Jumeirah. So I'm not going to explain that. This is construction started 2022, reclaim the island, and then it is it has been opened 2028. So that uh, at that time, this project has been called Eight World, World Wonder. That's how they internationally announced this one. This is a developer is Nakil. 20, 2000 to 2010, Dubai economy 
and Dubai construction related on concept that concept is from Palm Jumeirah. So in South Asian, Sri Lankans, Indians, Asian got a lot of jobs in Palm Jumeirah. Yeah, now that is history. I will show one uh, video. training. We're now getting ready for that big arrival of our first guest. Um, I'm just so pleased about the over 2,000 employees we have here to look after our guests. I'm um, seeing the camaraderie of the team come together. You know, we have over 42 nationalities. Each one of you are going to make the difference for our customers. I'm so excited about receiving the first guest with you and looking forward to So, man, man, video ko galan te penue project te ka from starting to end. Man, ko especially me fresh engineers le ti gila hitano ay galan te tamaw e construction me me mehema tamaw bin ni gila mata penan no na kamatibbe. Man ko do galan te langka ay ko dakkila ay te project te ka kluku project te ay patanggan na tani indala. Iwa ra bina tani te bina kang galan te me balagan na bahay. Eka na ikko magadi project te ka na wthila an ni e kisa tamaw mata me video ko galan te penan no no me. So that is about uh, Palm uh, Palm Jumeirah development. It's a big development for the world. Then uh, in Middle East history, 2004 to 2009, this this development called Downtown Dubai. So major projects were Khalifa Tower, world tallest, Dubai Lake Fountain, Dubai Mall, and series of hotel and commercial residence. As uh, I know that uh, Nalin also worked in Dubai Mall, world uh, largest mall. Lot of experience that there. Then, uh, to, then 2010 with international recession, Dubai has stuck. Same like Sri Lanka at the moment now, due to investment that international. Then. Dubai Expo has been announced 2012. So Dubai Expo is started 2016 to 2021 uh, is uh, construction finish. So this is the image of uh, Dubai Expo. I think you sometimes you might visit it there. You might uh, hear from web. Sometimes you, you, you might see in the uh, YouTube's uh, videos about that. So in this event, they have planned for Next 10 years for the construction, construction. Different, I am not going to explain uh, Dubai Expo uh, concepts, why they, may, uh, why they made it. So you can study on the, uh, in the internet too, what are the, their objectives they are going to achieve through Dubai Expo. Why I, why I explain these things as an engineers, dynamic engineers in construction, you, you should study about that international uh, picture. 
we are happening, we are not happening, etc. Yeah. So this is the future. If we success, if 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 this success, this project, it is very good for international, all international engineers, especially South Asian, Asian engineers. This is called Neom project. It is coming under South Division 2030. This project value is USD 500 billion by 2030. Then it will go, then last final phase will go 2030 to 2045. Total project value is $1 trillion. This is the future. As fresh engineers have good opportunity to work for this kind of uh, projects in the future, this is the neom neom stand is neom stand for neo is Greek in new m mean in Arabic word Arabic word first letter future new future. So this has couple of faces. This is neom uh, oxygen. This is a floating city for the industrial with artificial in latest artificial intelligent factories. Lot of things is there. This is the line. This is the line. Uh, this this project called line. This is a totally residential and a new city. It is a, like a line. It means 170 kilometers long with these 200 meters, 500 meters uh, height. Countless governments and companies have taken a stab at building a city of the future. There's Songdo in South Korea, the Alphabet funded Keyside project in Toronto, which was abandoned in May of last year, and both Singapore and Barcelona have tried to modernize with smart sensors. In January of 2021, Saudi Arabia announced plans for its own futuristic city called The Line. Instead of communities sprawling outward from a central location, they would be built vertically and arranged well in a line, hence the name. Even though the vision for the city stretches 170 kilometers, it would do away with cars entirely and instead be connected by high-speed rail that would travel the entire length in just 20 minutes. And each individual community would be largely self-contained so that almost anything you could need, be it a school, a doctor, or a quick meal, would be only a five-minute walk away. The government says the line will run on 100% clean energy and make extensive use of sensors and AI to manage the city's services. And all of this is supposed to be nestled in the pristine natural landscape of the Tabuk province with minimal impact on the environment. Now the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has revealed grandiose renders of what the city will look like to match the grandiose plans. The line is envisioned as a giant glass and mirrored wall, 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, and 500 meters tall. That's taller than the Empire State Building. It would have greenery stretching along the top, an open-air ventilation system to help maintain an ideal climate year-round, and it would house up to 9 million people. Now, the line is just one part of Saudi Arabia, Rio, all that forced from homes have been harassed and abducted by Saudi security forces, arrested, or in some cases killed. For example, Abdul Rahim al-Hawati, a prominent Hawata activist, was killed by police in April of 2020. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, show entire video due to uh, time uh, time period. Mangogalanta may video again pen you make a tama construction upcoming future may projects already started it started mean it's a preliminary design stage ek okolo samata halati saudi wala construction den loku opportunities thiyena kiyala oy city ekka base karan thamai opportunity ekak enne etakota as a sri lankan engineers apita honda opportunity ekak especially fresh engineers lata even though experienced engineers lata meke thiyen meke thiyena api denata oy man man involved wena business consultancy wala api me project study karanawa uh, business development pet thing uh, for some couple of companies right engineers role in construction industry today's uh, world this is uh, very important so these are the key uh, key fact uh, key matters which uh, engineers uh, should uh, have updated technical and engineering knowledge 
මේ ගැන නම් අපිට ලොකු මේකක් නැහැ මොකද ගොඩක් ඩයිනමික් හොඳ ඉන්ජිනියර්ස් ලා නිතර මේගොල්ලෝ අප්ඩේට් වෙලා ඉන්නේ බට් අයි 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 ලයික් ටු ෂෙයා සම් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් වித් යු ස්පෙෂලි ඉන් ශ්‍රී ලංකා වෙන් වෙන් අයි වර්ක් ඉන් දුබායි අයි තින්ක් නලින් ඔල්සෝ නෝස් වි ඔල්වේස් රෙඩි ටු ඇලොකේට් සම් ටයිම් ෆෝ manufacturers meeting it means coming through suppliers api eken dekak achieve karana ekak thama ape project ekata e gollangin quotation ekak one yes eeta amatharawa e gollu gawa thama upgrade wena technology ekak thiyenne especially api mep ekak gattama huac patta especially elv systems wala e johnson control honeywell siemens apuwama api vitarak ne me sometime even general manager also come in and uh, sit to listen about technically but sri lanka i i have experience especially with consultancies i have uh, sad to say mang meka metana kiyanna kamathi attatama mang godak ayata eka kiyala thiyena ape aya meetings ehema denne manufacturers ata ehema etakota ape aya updated na ithin eke hinda man dakala thiyena godak consultancy firm lankawe me me especially private companies egalu updated na ගොඩක් කියවලට ඒගොල්ලෝ මොන හරි ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකක් ස්පෙක් කරලා ඩිසයින් කරනවා හැබැයි ඇත්තටම එක්සිකියුෂන් එකේදී ගොඩක් තියෙනවා ග්‍රේ ඒරියාස් ඒ වෙන්නේ ඒක එතකොට ඕගොල්ලෝ යන්ග් ඉන්ජිනියර්ස් ලා ෆ්‍රෙෂ් ඉන්ජිනියර්ස් ලා you should you should have two way communication with all parties it mean we call that all parties in order to project especially manufacturers and specialist then planning and managing execution of the project within time frame මේක ගොඩක් ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් ලංකාවේ ගොඩක් වෙලාවට මම දකින්න ඇති දෙයක් තමයි අපි ටයිම් ඉන්ජිනියර්ස් ලා ටයිම් එක ගැන ටයිම් ෆ්‍රේම් එකට අපි එච්චර මේකක් දෙන්නේ නැහැ unless project managers but as engineers time is very important in if you are going to the international in construction industry that's a must cost cost control and cost savings this is not only the role of quantity surveys or project managers engineers should have good knowledge about the cost is and cost control and cost saving opportunities coordination work with other system and parties in sri lanka i have uh, experience in sometime our engineers electrical engineers mechanical engineers or uh, other in, uh, civil engineers uh, they are not properly coordination coordinating with uh, other other systems and other parties but but international when you go to the international we should have do good coordination therefore coordination work with other system and parties are really important other one lead the team subordinates and labor ogol international construction market ticket giyama pre construction or post construction this must what am area ke perform karanna baina what fail 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 you know make any way perform karanna ne team ekak kwata handle karanna puluwan wenna especially construction make individual game ekak neme good knowledge about supply chain management and procurement management godak pelawata man api dakinne ekak thama in sri lanka procurement management egen api echchara mewa karanna it means uh, delivery period as good engineers we should know some some many some product some products come from european countries some products come in from china so they have their production period uh, different for an example i will get as a lighting normally in european manufacturers for the light fitting production time is uh, nowadays 3 months before 2 months chinese before one month now two months ekinda api oy oy mona ratenda enne kiyala balala apita e time frame eka hari wedagath apita procurement management ekai procurement management e karaganna the same also we should understand about the new year holidays normally chinese new year holidays starting january to march european in european market christmas and august for the maintainers their factory closing api samahara rawata egen idea ekne api order place karanna yanawa ara ara kundama very critical time ali thona fail e we have we have seen this kind of issues in sri lankan construction industry therefore you should have supply chain proper understanding of supply chain management and uh, procurement management what is next 
make a tama. This is the very important, uh, important thing engineers uh, should have. Can you guess? Artery onna kya na bolwa? Think outside the box. Construction, as I said, construction is evolving and dynamic market. Lot of competitions are there. If you think inside the box, you will fail personally. Not only you, you organize, your organization also will fail. Therefore, you have to think out of the box. Therefore, this lecture I will, I will, I will, uh, I will highlight you through case studies and experience. Kohamadame, api me me ka preconstruction kiya ne ka theory valing pita monada pita hambe na deval kiya la api te mangye ko gulan text. I will explain that. It was a ogul ogulot balan ne hamti sema think outside the box. Outside the box hita na engineers slaba thama onam organisation ne ka ta awash egulan ta thama demand ka ready ma. If you have Middle East construction, mehe wage atta paha ehema ekak ne me thi ennne. Two and ready vela inno ne twenty four hours, twenty four seven work karanda. Ehema no success na tang success karagan hari amari. Mehe wage side ga hal inde bad, right? This is a good when I. Talk about think outside the book. Uh, box. This is a good uh, book to read. It is called Blue Ocean Theory. I had an opportunity to <coughs> got that book when I traveled to Germany 2016. I got this book and I read that. After reading this book only, I started my new phase in my career. It means business consultancy and uh, sort of things. I, I learned a lot of from this uh, book. This is called Blue Ocean Theory and Blue Ocean Strategy. I have a marketing knowledge of the Blue Ocean Theory. I have a lot of knowledge of the marketing knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge of the marketing knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge of the personal life and the career life. I have a lot of knowledge of the field. I have a lot of knowledge of the book. I have a lot of knowledge of the internet. I, I need to share this case studies also with you. Uh, when we when we work in Dubai in pre-construction, pre-construction, uh, this is uh, this is called a system architecture in ELV system. This is uh, actually we uh, Actually, I made uh, I personally made this one during pre-construction period when we bid into the project under pre-construction period. This is a Cleveland clean, clinic, what I explained before. Uh, make a very complicated DLV system. So there are three bidders in Norwin during the pre-construction as well, including our company. Make up with Alpana Karla. अभी मैं एक क्रिएट करा था नहीं अभी सिस्टम इंटीग्रेटर स्लाव आरा मैं कभी प्रसंग करा अपे प्री कंस्ट्रक्शन बीडिंग मीटिंग वाले इट पास से अभी तो ईएलवी सिस्टम सोलेटर लोगों वैल्यू वेका कावा मैं वगैरह दिया प्रसंग कर रहे क्योंकि मैं कभी तो वैल्यू वेड देगा तू ना अभी प्री क्वालिफिकेशन सोलेटर � अभी दिन निकाल लेता हूँ मेरे को प्रसन्न करे अभी इट पासे मेरे को तो आप प्रोजेक्ट वाले प्रैक्टिस करा मेरे को सिंगल लाइन डायग्राम्स ने में मेरे वाले मिडली स्टोल के अन्य सिस्टम आर्किटेक्ट आर्किटेक्चर मैं अभी ताऊ प्रोजेक्ट टेक करता मैं लू 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 म्यूजियम दिस इस कॉल्ड मा एमएसआई वी डिड द सेम uh, why I explain these things uh, the, for the for the example of uh, think out of the box and do your best. Uh, this is, uh, I think, everyone knows about uh, this uh, topic, this uh, slide, and uh, what this content. Mom make a fresh engineers line in the product. Ekai mom make a damme. Ogulanta any projects you can uh, categorize into. Make it what a categorize karagan na pulong ono mo project teka. Residential project, hospitality project, commercial, industrial, uh, institutional. Uh, infrastructure projects, uh, environmental projects. 
मिडल ईस्ट वगैरह अटवा मिडल ईस्ट वगैरह अटवा वाले मे प्रोजेक्ट मे प्रोजेक्ट के मे डिफरेंट टाइप स्पेसीफिकेशन वेना मे वर्ल्ट डोमेंट कर कंट्राक्टर्स लेना कंसलटेंट्स लेना मे प्रोजेक्ट अवबोधिया तीन हेम प्रोजेक्ट मे वर्ल्ड स्पेसीफिकेशन लेना हॉस्पिटालिटी एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एयरपोर्ट प्रोजेक्ट गुड कंप्लीकेटेड uh this this slide also i put uh, to especially for the fresh engineers this is the basic structure of the project in projects this uh, this is the main st internal stakeholders of the project uh, there's a project developer who own the project we call project developer then uh, project management team a uh, project management team they are separate team then uh, if it is hotel like hilton no shangrilla hotel operate also they are separately then develop and operate is a two entity sometime they are one company then consultancy team sometime consultancy team reported to the director to the developer sometime they are reporting to the project management team then main contractor uh, mainly civil contractors will become as a main contractors then subcontractors there supply suppliers are there in uh, middle east sometimes the some suppliers direct some suppliers have been handled direct by the project management team sometime main contractor sometime sometime subcontractors you can you can see these three option I, in sri lanka also same uh, samahar material client directly purchase karana samahar lot main contractor purchase karana bidding process ekak gihilla wenawa godak kela wata subcontractor thama purchase karanna right uh, factors to be considered to the select the project when we select the project these are the factors uh, we should consider it means this is uh, from developers also consultants also contractors also they should study about that the scale of the projects project ekak scale ekak dana ganna api e scale ekak apita puluwan nan vitarai as a contractors contra bid ekata participate karanna one developers la also me scale ekak denagena thama project ekak develop karanna bai yan level of complexity samahara projects thiyena special project samahara e knowledge ekak na contractors lata karanna consultants lata ne api ekin da api we should well aware of level of complexity again api hospitality five international five star hospital ekak airport ekak wage wagatta me wala complexity level ekak very technical technical patte timeline ekak टाइम लाइन ने काफी स्टडी करा टाइम लाइन ने के अपीट मे प्रोजेक्ट करना पुलवा मेक कंट्राक्टर्स लटते डिवलपर्स लटते कंसलटेंट लटते रिस्क प्रोफाइल दिस रिस्क रिस्क असेसमेंट रिस्क असेसमेंट ऑलसो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी शुड आई विल एक्सप्लेन लेटर वट द रिस्क असेसमेंट वेरी ब्रीफली दिन द बजेट अभी बजेट क्षम से मे प्रोजेक्ट के बजेट अभी मे प्रोजेक्ट के කරන්න පුළුවන්ද බයිද කියලා දැනගන්න potential rewards its mean return of investment how long last the project etc these are the key factors to be considered when we select the projects uh, in terms of contract uh, developer consultants project management firms uh pre construction this is the project phases we can we can normally we can see normally project proposal project proposal islamic project proposal like hadanawa eken tama api enter wenni ita passe api necessary approvals from authorities on the government or sometime from the government then then after this thing design stage will start design stage after complete the design then tender stage after the tender construction will start then commissioning stage then handing over stage i think this is uh, all of uh, you know about this process menna me period ekak thama apita pre construction period ekak gila godak kalawata identify wenne pre construction kiyanne design stage ekak indala tender stage ekak vitarak neme part of construction stage also we have to cover during pre construction period godak kai hitang inne මෙන්න මේ පීරියඩ් එකේ විතරයි මේක මෙව වෙන්නේ කියලා 10 ඩි ස්ටේජ් එකයි විතරයි කියලා එහෙම නැහැ 
also when i come in sri lanka some companies i have noticed they are practicing tree construction department and tree construction team but when you go to the as narin next when when you go to the middle east that tree construction uh, places are totally different godak kara lanka me design and estimation ekata tree construction team me kiyala kiyala eka veradi right megulanta కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ స్టేజ్ ఎక్కడ మెగుల్లంగ ఎలుకు రోల్ ఎక్కడ తీయనో మనం ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ కరన్న ప్రీ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ అది మనది టూల్స్ కియలా యూస్ కర అంటే ఒకలంట తేరి మే అపి లంకా వి తంగిన దగ్గర మే ప్రీ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ కియన్న కియలా రైట్ ఇది పసి దెన్ పోస్ట్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ మెతన తీయనో మే కామన్ ఏరియా ఎక్కడ మే మే టీమ్స్ దేక హరి మే పేసెస్ దేక మిక్స్ వెన రైట్ మనం ఎక్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ లేటర్ సో ప్రీ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ స్టేజ్ in uh, contracting point of view pre qualification process then technical bit commercial bit under commercial bit normally uh, international projects big project they call for two bits base bits and value engineering bit i will explain later what's the value engineering base bit as 100% as per the tender documents value engineering proposal is alternative proposal which reduce the cost and keep in requirement same as per the employee requirement so tender uh, tender documents uh, normally tender documents includes this general specification technical specification tender drawings and bot uh, me general mam itana podak singhalen kiyanna me general specification ne kai technical specification ne kiyala dekak thiyena me general specification ek ogolla godak pelawata family hama project me lanka hama project ekema meka thiyena meke thama e kene mona hari api system me ekata project ekak gane system me ekata giya me system me ke thiyena methodology ekak meke workmanship ekak meke testing commission karanne kohomada monada mono e kene monadi standards guidelines api follow karanne people liyop story book ekak narrative ekak ekata api kiyena middle east lokata samahara narrative kiyala kiyena godak pelawata ඕක තමයි ජෙනරල් ස්පෙසිෆිකේෂන් එක කියන්නේ ටෙක්නිකල් ස්පෙසිෆිකේෂන් එක කියලා කියන්නේ අපි අපි ගමුකෝ ජෙනරේටර් පැකේජ් එක මේ ජෙනරේටරේ සයිස් එක ජෙනරේටරේ තියෙන ඉක්විප්මන්ට්ස් ගැන ඩීටේල් කරලා තියෙනවා සමහරවිට අර බ්‍රෑන්ඩ් රිෆර් කරා මොඩල් නම්බර්ස් රිෆර් කරා ඒක තමයි ටෙක්නිකල් ස්පෙසිෆිකේෂන් එක කියන්නේ ඒතකොට there are in big projects and key projects these two specification should be there then tender drawings tender drawings ek edi single line drawings are very important a single line drawings uh, tell you the methodology of the system it how it works then uh, boq it was say metana then uh, award the contract then it was api bidawa select karaganno this is uh, tender stage after the tender construction stage will start uh, this is uh, Uh, construction start pre, this is pre construction team this is post construction team all big projects in international practice there are two teams pre construction team and post construction team during the construction period also this pre construction team uh, will occupy to the project and they will make sure proper transition to post construction team they are for some initial phase initial stage both teams are there to proper transmission yeah mam meke theory part eka godak karanne yanne meke thiyenne e baton eka hariyata change karana smoothly meke delay ekak nathu oy yanna e me pre construction team eka me welawa support karana eka post construction team ekata harima lazy egalanta perform karanna puluwan timeline eka lassan ta e vidihata comply karagena yanna puluwa right pre construction checklist uh pre construction checklist pre construction during pre construction period uh during pre construction period there is a opportunity to work together with uh developers consultants project managers and ten bidding team it's a uh, pre construction team therefore initial meeting to discuss project detail including internal and external objectives etoru me hama project ekata ma thiyena objectives client ge patte me me objectives tika hariyata danagattama me bidders lata harima lesi honda proposal ekak denna 
ඒව ප්‍රී ක්වොලිෆිකේෂන් වලට හොඳයි මේක නැත්තම් අර අපි නිකන් ප්‍රයිස් එකක් දීලා සබ්මිට් කරලා ජොබ් එක ඩිස්කවුන්ට් එකක් දීලා ජොබ් එක ගන්නවා වගේ නෙමෙයි මේක අනිවාර්යෙන්ම ඩුබායි මිඩ් ලිස්ට් ප්‍රොජෙක්ට්ස් කරද්දි මේ දෙක එකට සින්ක්‍රනයිස් වෙන්න ඕනේ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එක ඔබ්ජෙක්ටිව්ස් ටික දැනගන්න ඕනේ මොකද ඔයගොල්ලන් බිඩ් එකේ බිඩ් බිඩ් ඉන්ටර්විවස් කියලා යනවා ඩුබායි වල there are bid bid interviews also මේ බිඩ් ඉන්ටර්විවස් එකේදී මේ මේ වලට මාක්ස් දෙනවා වෙනම එයාට තමයි ජොබ් එකේ ජොබ් එකේ යාට අවෝඩ් වෙද්දි ප්‍රයිස් එකට විතරන්නේ මේ මේ ඔක්කොම සලකනවා එතකොට මේක හරි ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් මේක දැනගන්න ඕගොල්ලෝ එතකොට if you are going middle east countries or international may you should know these things planning the process during pre construction period wa me mulu construction ekama plan ekak hadala tiya ganno e kiyanne meka project mane time frame meka you have to plan the project from construction starting time to the hand over job ekak hambuna netaw bida gena ek hatiyata eke illuwath nadathwa lassan ta hadala tiyanna ne wage plan ekak estimating the cost and offering cost saving options menna me wage dewal karana eken menna me wage dewal aniwaryen pre construction team එක කරන්න ඕනේ මේවා client ලා ඔය bid interviews වල දීම they are considering this uh, managing the project scope you should uh, that pre construct contractors uh, should know they are they are they, they are scope and they should uh, manage that managing rfis comprehensively rfis කියන එක මම හිතන්නේ construction in ඔයගොල්ලෝ දන්නව ඇති request for information this rfis are very important මේ RFIs මම මේ මෙතන ආයෙ සිංගල් ඉම්පෝට් එකක් ඔයගලන්ට එක්ස්ප්ලේන් කරන්න මේ RFIs ගොඩාක් දේවල් ප්ලේ කරනවා මේක ඇත්තටම රික්වෙස්ට් ෆෝ ඉන්ෆෝමේෂන් විතරක් නෙමෙයි අපි ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට ඉන්ෆෝමේෂන් එකක් ගන්න විතරක් නෙමෙයි RF එකක් ගන්න සමහර වෙලාවට අපිට අනිත් බිඩර්ස් ලා ඔවයා කරන්න ඕනේ මෙන්න මෙහෙම දෙයක් තියෙනවා ඒක අපිට කොස් ඉම්පැක්ට් එකක් කියනවා අනිත් අය දන්නේ නැත්නම් අපිට ඒක ඩිසඩ්වාන්ටේජ් එකක් නෙමෙයි අපි දැනුවත් කිරීමට දානවා ඒතර මේ සමහර RFIs තියෙනවා ටෙන්ඩරිං ස්ටේජ් එකේ රේස් කරපු ඒවා अतर में वो तीन है टेंडरिंग स्टेज सम्मान प्रेस है बे ये वो हैंडिंग वो स्टेज जिके सक्सेसफुल बिड़े टा वेरिएशन गन उधाव कर पोआर एफआई सिद्ध तीन है वी हैव दैट एक्सपीरियंस इन मिडल ईस्ट डिटरमाइन एनी वैल्यू इंजीनियरिंग ऑप्शंस आई विल एक्सप्लेन लेटर व्हाट्स व्हाट्स वैल्यू इंजीनियरिंग चेकिंग Uh, sometime utility power water supply to the project i mean after the construction not sufficient therefore during pre construction period that opportunity they have the developer and the contractor has that opportunity to raise up those risk existing utilities so natan samahara projects thiyenawa man nama kiyanne goal wala ලොකු ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකක් ඉවර වුණා ෆයිව් ස්ටා ඒ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එක ඉවර කරලා වුණාම දැනගන්න පුළුවන් වුණා මේ ගා ගෝල් වල තියෙන වෝටර් සප්ලයි එක මදි ඒ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකට කේට කරන්න ෆයිව් ස්ටා හොටෙල් එක තාම ඒක ප්‍රශ්න තිබ්බා ඊට පස්සේ ඒගොල්ලෝ වෙන වෝටර් ප්ලාන්ට් එකක් වෙනම කරන්න තමයි ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එක කම්ප්ලීට් කරේ රයිට් ඒ කියන්නේ ඒක අපි ඩියුරින් ප්‍රී කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් පීරියඩ් පීරියඩ් no one identified that ඒ කියන්නේ මේ මේ චෙක් ලිස්ට් එකක් ගිහිල්ලා නැහැ රයිට් Uh, determine the equipment required uh, check the green building options and uh, viability when you do the international projects they this green building concepts are very important therefore uh, you should very well aware of green building options and what are the requirement they mention in the specification and the viability to achieve this green building concepts some green building concepts are, are there in the specification is there but for the region it, it cannot be achieved then you you should raise that uh, life cycle analysis of the project uh, risk assessment and mitigation plan man hitanne mama oy risk assessment gana meten explain karanna yanne i i believe you all should know what is the risk assessment of the projects and the mitigation plan during the construction period the developer is collecting risk registers from each bidders and during pre construction period then they will prepare the mitigation plan api samahara project ekak yaddi loss vetcha bida gena ek hadapu risk ekak register api ga plan gawa thiyena ewu egulata helpful wenawa helpful wenawa ya successful bida ek yaddi ethara e me risk assessment and mitigation plan is a very important those are the pre construction checklist have have to be prepared during pre construction period 
benefits uh, benefits of uh, pre construction uh, pre construction uh, these are the benefits uh, we can achieve from pre construction provide more accuracy and detail of the project cost during the design uh, con consultancy side or project management same qsr they are making engineering estimation uh, i think you have very good knowledge about engineering estimation once project execution pace come big differences are there yeah we have to uh, we have to reduce that gap reduce that gap therefore pre construction processes are very important to reduce that uh, gaps again a pre construction period decay at the time uh tendering stage ekata uh, yaata gihilla study karala specification balala hondata price karana price karana price gaps samanne api ekata time frame me hekut da ganna ekane project ekata main start wenne after one year na api e one year e wala wedi kohomada material cost ude yanne kiyala e ewat analyze karana ewat ekata da gaddi me project cost ekata मैं मैं प्रोजेक्ट का कंस्ट्रक्शन स्टार्ट कराने का लिंग प्री कंस्ट्रक्शन पीरियड देखे मैंने वह बजट में इंजीनियरिंग एस्टीमेशन ने कहते दिमाग दिखे रहा टेंडर का गिहली वर्ना काम बाला नो उन्हें आये रीटेंड कराना वैसे नहीं राइट रिमूवल ऑफ मेनी अननोन वेरिएबल फॉर द क्लाइंट इट मींस टाइम � client ke patte e client let client ham bina pre construction period de loku vasiya no generally when you run proper pre construction period during the tendering stage there is a additional cost but the benefits value of the benefit benefit is uh, higher than that cost right uh, provide a clear picture picture of uh, what the project will uh, look and how it will get it done again apita mulu project te kema uh, a total image picture capital hadagan pulum pre construction period kohoma the make ever been me monada pit in a passion api kohoma the maker me work around the right provide contractor to present a potential option for cost savings and value engineering options uh, why i mentioned cost savings and value engineering options uh, some people misunderstanding uh, that uh, cost savings and value engineering are in that uh, Single topic, no, it's uh, it's 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 different. I will explain uh, later when it's come to the value engineering. I will brief about that. Then I will explain that. May they they cut right? Uh, provide the opportunity to bidders to present their qualifications and competence to complete the project. The pre-construction period decay the humble now contractors. कंट्रैक्ट तस्ल तो अपॉर्चुनिटी है का ये गोल लंगे क्वालिफिकेशन हाइलाइट कराने में उधर में प्री कंस्ट्रक्शन चेकलिस्ट का क्या लगा तीनों ने में चेकलिस्ट का तो में 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 डेवलपर्स ला प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज इंटरनेशनल लेवल दे हैव मार्किंग स्कीम फॉर दैट एक इंद में यारा अनावश्य एक एन कैपेसिटी का नेती वैडी स्टडी के समाहरण आये इन्नो अटेंडर के टेनो किसी मध्य एक स्टडी कर लाने प्राइस से कर देना जॉब बेक गान नंबर में इतने कोटे यारा होंद कंट्रैक्ट असल तो अपॉर्चुनिटी का देना मार्किंग स्कीम में के दी एगो लम क्वालिफाई कर गान ना में प्री कंस्ट्रक्शन many uh, benefits some some are benefits tiyeno apita kohewat liyala kiyanna ba abe api experience again project ekak karaddi meeta wada wedipura benefits apita practice karanna puluwa right uh, as i explain this is some uh, examples uh, what have been designed and after run the pre construction period what has been happened as i explained before This is Cleveland Clinic, seven-star hospital in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I think uh, whoever uh, living in UAE, especially Abu Dhabi, uh, they know this project. This is the design stage image. Why I rounded this? Uh, why I uh, rounded this block? Uh, this is administration building. Actually, this project has uh, five or seven buildings together. You can see all together. These are blocks and patient tower. Uh, now I forget what are the actual things. Uh, this anyway, this is administration building. It's isolated building. 
this is the after execution this is the real image yeah not recently uh, some 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 years back you can see this admin building is disappear this is the result of pre construction yeah during the pre construction period they realize as a value engineering options this can be omitted and cost savings and the viability yeah so therefore they cancel this administration building and the spaces they occupied inside to the other buildings so it is completely disappeared uh, i do remember during that time uh, they 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 did a tend amendment also to price again without that especially in civil yeah so this is another example this is called tamir towers uh, the consultant and project manager is uh, acom acom so this is in uh, rim island uh, this project uh, 2009 uh, we have been participate we have participated to the uh, pre bidding stage this is the late uh, this is the latest one no buildings it means after pre construction this project completely <laughs> cancel because uh, we have got the job our company has got the job we work there during pre construction period we work there 8 months for this project under pre construction nothing started but we have a construction office we have been there a couple of months in our company spent couple of millions dollars for this but finally entire project is gone out due to this is not viable at that time the reason is global financial crisis hit to the uae then they they studied for the dcs this project is not viable actually this project is mixed development commercial hotel uh, that's my residential uh, shopping mall and hotels this is completely gone these are the real experience again me goda loku dewal wennat pulwa podi dewal wennat pulwa pre construction period ekak passe nattam godak kilawata wenne me pre mula design ekama execute karanna yana project ekak wennet ne magadi project ekak hira wela etukota me me lanka godak kilawata man da godak kilawata me wage dewal wenawa ene magadi cancel karanna yana etukota ba මේක අර ප්‍රී කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් පීරියඩ් එකේ තමයි මේක අඳුර ගන්න පුළුවන් රයිට් සෝ දිස් ඉස් දිස් වන් ඔල්සෝ ඇයි තින්ක් ඉෆ් යු හැව් ඕන්ලි ශ්‍රී ලන්කන් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් යු මයිට් ඇයි බිලීව් යු ඩෝන්ට් නෝ අබවුට් දිස් මොඩල් ඉෆ් යු හැව් මිඩ්ලි එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් යු නෝ දිස් මොඩල් දිස් ඉස් අනදර් මොඩල් අනදර් මොඩල් ප්‍රී කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් ප්‍රී කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් මොඩල් TD DD CD මං ඇයි මේක ඕගොල්ලන්ට කියන්නේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් වලින් මේ වගේ දේවල් ඕගොල්ලෝ ඔවයා වෙලා ඉන්න ඕගොල්ලෝ මොන හරි වෙලාවක ඕගොල්ලෝ ඉන්ඩිවිජුවල් මොන හරි කම්පැනි එකට වර්ක් කරද්දි හරි සමහර ලාට ඕගොල්ලෝ බිස්නස් අපි කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් when we talk about the මම මෙතන මේක එක්ස්ප්ලේන් කරන්න කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් කම්පැනියක් ගැන අපි කතා කරද්දි කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් කම්පැනියක බිස්නස් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට් රෝල් එක හරිම ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් බිස්නස් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට් එක තියෙන්නේ ඇත්තටම ප්‍රී කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් එක ඇතුලේ ගොඩක් වෙලාවට right etukota api me supplies laga patte ne me business deal real business development hond the tools practice wenne construction firm wala we man lanka godak kelawata dakala ne me 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 hond the tools practice karana api godak kelawata karanne ma kari deyak karala discount ekak deela relationship ekak daagana eka thama business e sampurna wenas dubai mid east lo owa owa kohomathma karanna ba right ewa wenne samahara loku level walin ewa me company etrota daala ne etukota mewa thama api danagani innona tools ඒතර මේව ඕගලන්ට හොඳට කැරි එක ෆෝම් කරන්න මේ වගේ දේවල් වැදගත්. ඒතර මේව කොහෙවත් ලියවිලා නැහැ. මේව ඉන්න එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් වලින් අපි මේ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරපු ඉවා. එතකොට අන්ෆෝර්චුනේට්ලි අයි මම ගොඩක් වෙලාවට 2013 වෙද්දී ඔය කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් ෆීල්ඩ් වලින් දුබායි වලින් ආවා. හැබැයි මම මං දැන් තියෙන ඉන්ට්‍රස්ට් මම බිස්නස් කන්සල්ටන්සි කරන වගේ ඒ වලට කරන හින්ද මම මේව තාම ස්ටඩි කරනවා. රයිට්. මේ TD DD CT TD කියන්නේ ටෙන්ඩර් ඩිසයින් එක. ඩිසයින් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට් DD කියන්නේ design development CD කියන්නේ construction design එක. එතකොට මේ ඕගොල්ලන්ට පේනවා මෙතන ඕගොල්ලන්ට මෙතන පේනවා මේ මේ තියෙන design stage එක. right? හැබැයි වට පේනවා මේ design stage එක ඉවරනකන් ඉන්න construction පටන් ගන්න. මේ මේ මගදී construction පටන් ගන්න. මේ තියෙන්නේ initial stage එක design එක zero. ඊට පස්සේ වුණ consultants ලා there are consultants and the client teams they will start the design. then once 30% design done they will release the tender documents for the bidding process with 30% design 
not 100 percent then these bidders will participate to the financial bid may zero in the 30 when a pre-qualification process again mil muladi 10 numbers of contractors will participate into the pre-qualification process right it was say may go to pre-qualification again per se they they will shortlist the contractors and decide who will participate to the pre-construction period in dubai normally this pre pre-construction pre pre-construction bidding they will only take uh, three four companies only and sometimes five yeah and methana di megol lange pre-qualification process ki ore methana shortlist karaganna onna den bidders law megol participate karaganna mekata me 30 percent in the 70 percent at the megol 10 district ki ore karaganna ito kota me short all shortlisted contractors will participate to the this stage right me 70 percent design ne ke me me 30 percent in the 70 percent at the make a 50 percent role like a karana consultants la it was a make on it 50 percent me three not a pre may pre-qualified which uh contractors like a good language pre-construction team make a texture a cut of a decker on a bit or the complicated consultant let me go the a kinetic name in a good akino three of one game of make a good idea sir again a make a lot of a design make a fine tune karma cost savings method study karma make a value engineering options daga no they will engage with suppliers system integrator sector make a look make a look on the successful journey that can when it's come to the 70 percent make a may 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 percentage make a dagger the apical project take a tip bigger make some other to be nice when the pull of 50 hundred then not pull on some other 40 80 hundred then not pull on this is for the example for the one of our projects in dubai especially that uh, we call new york university abu dhabi what i explained before so that method the megal it was a megal contract of over karma it was it it was i 30 percent take up the money it was me select car got the bid at the they will finish balance design now only the design stage is over right it was a method to edit them i'm able to design the co o o when me but it would have been the main model like a toggle and the middle is not one of the king of the one they're making what a benefits you know complex complex for the project management firms and the consultants but that's but they are paying for that may 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 additional payment to let a water some other project management team make it come about a coordination not in it on the benefits good are coming up project dollar right this is the real case study for that concept yeah this is the project uh, i have been participating in type in the matter was an hour cutter may period they get a matter make it a may be when the pool on a man at the moment dubai will resign money may project take a after after my vita moment resign a lot right it's got to make a this project is new york university sadia thailand abu dhabi this is the same branch of new york university in a usa client and employer and new york university usa architect a project management company consultancy rafael vinoli architect usa if you have uh, about us experience with usa this is a one of leading architect firm who who has Megolanta Megolang umbrella like a promo services ticket, you know, very big company, Rafael Vinoli. Main contractor was Alfutem Carolian. Uh, at that time, they are the number one main contractor in Middle East. Alfutem is the local law. Carolian is the French company. Over Dubai, well, the good accurate company, good companies, Chini, JV, local companies, JV can a local local sponsor, again, a kino local law, make a good accurate international firm, make a JV at the Hagan. Make a money explain to run and if you have Dubai experience, so will take a memory picture of important name. It's an MEP contract is BK Gulf LLC. This it means our company. So benefits. Uh, as I explain, uh, I need to explain this. When you run this model, you will have same benefits as I explained in the pre-construction. Top of that, Ogallanta metana design consultancy fee ka reduce you know. I consultant step that ma metana vitra ne ya taniyan karan make ya ne join exercise ka. Me agi scope ka porda kadu karan. Because apay Lanka ka consultancy firm solve wagi ne me me wala pay pay payment terms ko dal loku ye kani loku major major pay you can look at payments tamam ego lante and a consultant's firm and it's what i'm at a maker may i give me fee you got product 
adu karagatte ge pete cost saving ek karagatte client get value addition to the project from qualified bidders again ara man explain kara wage qualified bidders pre qualified bidders lage in no again contractors solution providers like you know especially when you talk to the it i it elv systems and we call solution providers and integrators like you know it system like the key manufacturers me okwangem inputs we uh, they are collecting during the pre construction that benefits can be added to the project me pace it was it me me okkoma tika ekata ekahu karagena me me okkoma analyze karala risk factors end of the day apita successful project ekak deliver karaganna puluwa naththam godak pilawata wenne oy lanka yaw gulanta thiyena experience ekano design karala thiyena ekak eka execute karanne di totally different technology ekak wenas e e design karapu ewa gawa manufacturers lana godak projects walta ogulanta international xp dekeme experience thiyenona man me kiyana katha hondata ogulanta therena right early start up of initial civil work godak pilawata wenne menna me menna metana අපිට මේ ඔක්කොම ඉවර කරන්න ගන්න ඉන්නේ පෑ ජෙනරල් කන්වෙන්ෂනල් මෙතඩ් එකට කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් ස්ටාර්ට් කරන්න. එතකොට හැබැයි මෙන්න මේ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකේ මේ මං කී කේස් ස්ටඩි එකට ගත්ත නිව් යෝක් යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ මෙතනදීම ක්ලයන්ට් මෙන්න මෙන්න මේ හරියදීම මේ මේ 10% විතර ඩිසයින් එකෙදි මෙයා ස්ටාර්ට් අප් කරනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ මෙයා පයිලින් ගහලා ඒ ටික නොමිනේට් කරගෙන සබ් කොන්ට්‍රැක්ටර්ස් ලව මෙයා වෙනම ජර්නි එකක් යනවා. රයිට්? එතකොට මේ මේ ඔක්කොම ඉවර කරගෙන ඉන්න ඕනේ නැහැ. प्रोजेक्ट की चुट्टी 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 पटांग करने पड़ोगा ये तो उड़ा टाइम फ्रेम में काफी टा मिटिगेट कर ला रिड्यूस कर गाने पड़ोगा राइट देन आई विल आई विल जंप तू आई विल आई विल एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफ अबाउट द वैल्यू इंजीनियरिंग वैल्यू इंजीनियरिंग इस अ सिस्टम दिस इस द जनरल knowledge about value engineering theory wise i think you know that value value engineering is a systematic organized approach to providing necessary function in a project at the lowest cost or less cost through case study i will i will use couple of examples value engineering promotes substitution of the materials and methods with less expensive alternatives without sacrificing functionality client requirement එක ලොකුව client requirement එකට හාම් කරන්න යන්නේ නැහැ right value engineering is the review of new existing products during the design stage මම මේක මේ underline කරන් ඉන්නේ මට මෙන්න මේක මම ආය ඔයගලන්ට මේ සිංගලෙන් explain කරන්න හොඳට හරියට ගොඩක් අය value internationally value engineering කියන එව අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි ලංකාවේ දින value engineering ඔය අපි when i came to sri lanka 2012 මේ value engineering කියන එක හරි අපි construction construction එකේදී වැඩි ඇහුවු නැහැ හැබැයි දැන් මම ගොඩක් තැන් වල ඇහෙනවා but when we went to dubai 2005 also we know this terms very well මේ value engineering කියන එක ගොඩක් වෙලාවට apply වෙන්නේ design and tendering stage එකේදී ඒ කියන්නේ execution එක පටන් ගන්න කලින් සාමාන්‍ය value engineering අපි practice කරන්නේ නැහැ construction පටන් ගත්තට පස්සේ හැබැයි අපිට ඒක එහෙම නැහැයිම ඒක practice එකක් නා theory එකෙන් එහෙම බැහැයි කියලා කියන්නේ නැහැ හැබැයි අර value engineering option ඔක්කොම අපි identify කරන් ඉන්න ඕනේ අර tendering stage එකේ ඒ කියන්නේ design stage එක tendering stage especially pre construction stage එකේ cost අපි පස්සේ වෙනස් කරන එවා අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට කියන්නේ cost saving options කියලා අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට ඒ කියන්නේ Uh, with value engineering cost reduction should not man isal explain kara wage meka project eke quality ekata ehema harmful effect ekak wenna baha right man ogalanta denna podi example ekak me value engineering kiyana uh, ekata uh, mep in uh, mep context uh, this project as i explained before atlantis package bus duct system in power distribution system i think uh, in mep engineers know what is the bus duct system normally for the distribute the power duct system bus bar system will be used instead of cables or in this project when me project ege me 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 substation thiyenne ground level ege it was me gollange me rises there are two rises in this project this rise and this rise original design is only risers men me me bus risers dekai thiyenne ita passe me gulo me room me orkoma corridors wala meke me eka riser ekak gatta wings tunak thiyena ekai dekai ne pitipasse pete podi ekak thiyena etara tunai 
ඊට පස්සේ මේක ඔයගලගේ ඔරිජිනල් ඩිසයින් එකේ තිබෙන රයිස් එක විතරයි මේ ඔක්කොම යන්නේ කේබල්ස් වලින් කේබල්ස් වලින් ගිහිල්ලා වෙනම සිස්ටම් එකක් ඔය ඉලෙක්ට්‍රිකල් ඉංජිනියර්ස් ලට මම මෙතන තියරි තියරි එක එක්ස්ප්ලේන් නොකරන හින්ද මේ ඉලෙක්ට්‍රිකල් ඉංජිනියර්ස් ලා දන්නවා මේ සිස්ටම් එක කොහොමද වර්ක් කරන්න කියලා මේක තමයි ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකේ ඔරිජිනල් ඩිසයින් එකේ තිබෙන දැන් BK Gulf did value engineering during the pre-construction period of this project what we proposed we proposed the uh, entire bus bar system is me me rises with bus rises also bus bar this horizontal through the me corridors the game guess corridors the game run when it bus bus it's a me bus bus me mulu project again with the book come a cover on a book of the name in a the more than 35 kilometers මේ ලෙන්ත් එකක් හැදෙන ඔක්කොම බස් බස් එකක් අහු කරද්දි මේ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකේ. ඒතර කාර් අහිත වෙන්න පුළුවන් බස් බස් ආ සෝ එක්ස්පෙන්සිව්. අපි ඒ වුණාට කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන් කොස්ට් එක හදන්නේ එහෙම නෙමෙයි. Not only material, insulation cost. Cables දාගෙන ඇදි ලොකු insulation cost එකක් යන්න වෙනවා containment යන්න ඕනේ. අපි ඊට පස්සේ මේ when consider total bus bar system and mix of bus bar and power supply uh cost saving එකක් තියෙනවා. Uh, around 20 to 25 or so savings uh, we have been uh, we have achieved at that time right it's a got a make it making me unne me me cost ek vitara anne me adu wenne me bus bus system e quality at wedi quality at wedi oy electrical engineers le ma danna me ke me power distribution e kathawa etana me ke quality at wedi right etana got a menna me thiyenne ek ek example ekak value engineering walta etota eka civil mama mep me examples ganna as i am an mep engineer for civil works uh, and uh, similar matters uh, you can apply it was say then me ogolo mid list in this project we have practice uh, about uh, fee fabrication containment and modular wiring ogolo mid list wala work karanna yanawa na menna meka podda denagirinna me golu heavily practice karma meka right අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපේ MEP සර්විසස් රන් වෙන්නේ අපි සයිට් එකට ගෙනල්ලා කන්ටේන්මන්ට්ස් ටික ගහනවා අපි කන්ටේන්මන්ට් ටික ඒකේ ලේ කරනවා කේබල්ස් අදිනවා පයිප් පටි කියලානේ ඔක්කොම සයිට් එකේ තමයි කරන්නේ රයිට් ඔය කන්වෙන්ෂනල් මේක වයරිනුත් අපි ෆයිනල් වයරින් කරන්නේ අපාර්ට්මන්ට් ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකක් ගත්තොත් we have distribution boards inside the apartments then we lay the cables at the site right in dubai actually this has been uh, invent introduced to the dubai by bk gulf 2010 uh, they have first uh, fee fabrication factory meka me gollo factory ekey thima hadanawa eken api service corridor ekak gattama me service corridor ekey okkoma coordinate we will get the coordinated drawings mep coordinated drawing ekak geniyala me factory ekey a dimension ekata me services thunama hadanawa cable lay karanne pipe ducts okkoma tika mewa karana ඊට පස්සේ මේගොල්ලෝ මේක ගෙනල්ල සයිට් එකේ එල්ලන් එල්ලන් යන එක තමයි සයිට් එකේ හැන් කරන් හැන් කරන් යන එක තමයි කරන්නේ. ඒකෝ මේක ලොකු ටයිම් සේවිං එකක් තියෙනවා කොලිටි එකක් වැඩි. ඒතර මේ වලින් කොස් සේවිංස් ටයිම් සේවිං ඇන්ඩ් ද කොලිටි එක ගොඩක් වැඩි. ඒ කියන්නේ මේ වගේ මෙතඩ්ස් යූස් කරේ ඒ දවස් බිග් ගල්ෆ් එක තමයි ඉස්සෙල්ලාම පටන් ගත්තේ. Because of this method practice uh, 2010 BK Gulf got three big projects during pre qualification process due to this method so danitha practice karala tibbena apita loku projects tunak hambuna apita oy new york university eka it get helpful menna meka apita help una eastern mangrove kela loku project ekak tibba oy dubai walin nay danna nan danna yoge loku project apita mewa una etara me wage value engineering tools practice karanna ogolu dana ganna one right mam metana podi meka pennana na samahara ayata echcha i think some of you not aware of this pre fabrication especially fresh engineers ඔගලන්ට මේකෙන් තේරෙයි මම මොකක්ද එක්ස්ප්ලේන් කරේ කියලා. BK Gulf Modular Systems Division was established in 2010. We just have we can produce up to 1800 modules a month. Uh, at the moment we're running easily within kind of 1200 to 1400 modules. and production in a month and that's purely just for our standard corridor riser modules in addition to that we probably have around about 15000 and market improving 
quite radically when it comes to prefabrication of site uh, construction. I think that's partly driven by the, the market. The UAE, they're still a good project. So that uh, I think uh, who doesn't know about uh, fee fee publication, I think you might uh, you uh, you got some idea about from that uh, video. I think uh, you understood the quality at the sites, how it is insulation have been done. I mean, maybe the methods good luck. Then in Dubai, we good luck. Me constructional me follow karna. Ogo leke me wage na abe abe la inna. Me me ke di time loku time me kak save you know site take. Toh site site take samalal skill labors lay lay number of labors good luck kadu karayegi. Samar la ata ha. Ekhen a a a a wedding to na ya. Seventy percent to kadu karana kulo site take. Right. So uh, this is uh, so that uh, almost uh, my explanations and uh, uh, session is uh, over. Make the matter go back to our theory. Name ki an pulvang uni theory name mama. What I mean to not to explain about the theories. So I need to share experience and some tools you have to practice. Maka the construction market taker in the future. Globally, the uh, fresh engineers that are Lanka by when engineers that are by when known appetite than you write him a killer engineer again a can a global character uh, global key and a a a a a body gamma gamma and a coge then opportunities on a tarantino is a lot of opportunities on a tarangino a bay ogul radio line non a togul and a a a a radio line with fresh engineers let up the experience engineers let up opportunities in our worldwide have a yoga look evolve when known a dynamic when known a good actor lanka with a hit a poem with a model who gets the no api him good actor to buy you the latino some a lot of good act experience in engineers like a put up to the experience i was a lot of humble no a big or a lanka in the make mama name a cherokee and a company there you know that we may work at a grand no name May up some are loud at the Kino, up to the experience in a big campus or seniors. Laguna, a bay may go to a Lanka in the Lara Linda to lean the Lamogeta, my third product. Eliot a Giamma took a Camaru, some are even a sin to come to it. Ne, you know, a him hit and nipper, Ogulo may are among Ogulan to give you out of the box it and a killer. Opportunities, you know, again the him put the by when now a shine construction industry in opportunities are there. So Nalim? Yeah, I think Minaj, uh, the your final message, I think would have been uh, spoken out in English as well. I think that is very important that the conventional engineer and how okay. he, he or she has to move forward. Please, please. There yeah. are, there are so, some non, non, uh, non singular audience as well. So please. Okay. So what I what I explain was in uh, Singhala, um, uh, I explain in Singhala because uh, the, we, we, we have to discuss about the truth. Yeah. Uh, during uh, my life in uh, UAE and still when I travel, sometimes I am, uh, I, we, my, we engage with a lot of uh, engineers in Sri Lanka who doesn't have uh, international exposure so that some, some engineers are much experienced uh, than us. Uh, recently, uh, I did some project management tools to the one of uh, leading uh, government body for the, for a project as a uh, model. 
project management then uh, we got to know about our engineers are already statistics it's not dynamic so those those engineers when they go to the especially in international international level you will have a lot of challenges and you can't cross the barriers yeah therefore you should be dynamic and you should uh, you should evolve and you should listen to the new technology and also uh, you uh, you should not be some some engineers we have uh, seen they are they have they have set up their own boundaries they only work inside that no you cannot uh, work like that it, when you go to the international uh, market so you have to study as i explained uh, in this uh, lecture series uh, uh, several uh, slides you have to study about engineering mar uh, in international market you have to study sometime it is not part of your job but you have to you you should know what is happening there outside world or outside your organization what is happening this is not to mention to change the jobs for the jump in this company to another company this kind of uh, if you have this kind of dynamic knowledge it is helpful for the personally to your career also to uh, enhance your uh, knowledge and this this helpful for your organization as well to pick the jobs it means whoever because pre construction period as i said pre construction is as i explained is it is a part of business development also lot of business development tools you have to practice in pre construction unfortunately in sri lanka pre construction is they are only focusing on engineering matters not the marketing matters but you should know about the uh, business development such kind of engineers can go anywhere in the world they can cross any barriers this is uh, this is my experience yeah okay nali thanks thanks thank you vinoj and, and to be honest with you that the the best learning out of this session there there were a lot of uh, informations and there were a lot of insights but my best learning is that you have to be ready to take challenges and you have to be aware of what's happening outside so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, mr vinoj vinoj uh, uh, shall you start some q and a which we have received from the whatsapp group yeah please uh, sir yeah there are There are some questions when client responding to RFI, that is about the request for information in the pre-bid stage. Is it officially informed to all the bidders or bidder who raised the question? Because in Sri Lankan context, also sometimes we, as a contractor, sometimes we get the response for RFIs individually, but sometimes it's a collective RFI response. So, what would be the practice in general practice in Middle East? uh in middle east also uh, nalin that uh, during the pre construction during the tender stage so that all rfis uh, circulate into the all bidders that's the general practice that is the general practice and also sometime because uh, in uh, unless special cases special cases means uh, some projects are there some packages are security packages for an example when we bid the uh, abu dhabi uh presidential uh, palace presidential palace that uh, security uh, be that uh, security systems those uh, security uh, contractors that subcontractors are separate bid has been have been happened but that when they raise that rfis so it is not circulating to the among all bidders that for the special cases i we believe that's for the security like cctv system etc otherwise general practice sir is circulating to the circulating to the all bidders yeah thanks thanks thank you i think that that's beneficial for the project ultimately exactly. so sharing yeah. the whole, whole part. yeah yeah yes, yes. i mean in our language sometimes we call queries the tender queries so the queries to be answered collectively to everybody and there is another i think this is quite a bit of a question even to popped up in my mind as well that as you mentioned in the timeline of your pre construction activities you said that you have a pre qualification stage through that from that onwards we have say for example five contractors from that pre con pre qualification stage onwards until the contract is awarded to a certain contractor is all five contractors are working together 
or working alone with the project. So the question here is, what would be the remedy like those who lose the project? So is it all about the risk or I'm sure that there, are, there should be a lot of resources to be put into action and there should be a lot of uh, time to be spend on the project. So yeah. what could be the remedy if those people lose the project? Actually, Naling, it is a risk. It is a risk. You can't, uh, offer, we have, uh, I, I will get the real, uh, real experience as I explained before. Uh, during uh, Cleveland Clinic, we were, that the pre, there, there were eight uh, bidders there during pre uh, tender. Then uh, four, uh, I think four, four or five has been pre qualified, pre qualified. Then uh, technical bidding started during five. Finally, we lost the job. Bhikigaf lost the job. It took six months. So I do remember we estimated our design estimation cost. Uh, it was a couple of uh, dirhams millions. It's a it's a loss. It it lost. Yeah. That's that's, that's one a of part it. of uh, it's a part of uh, business development. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's kind of your so you can say simply the marketing budget or whatever the budget to be allocated. Yeah. Right. And uh, exactly. there are certain yes. Okay. Thank you. And there are certain questions from. Uh, I don't think that this is the good forum to discuss this question like in, in chat box. In Sri Lanka, most construction works tended by the government and getting early connection to suppliers would be a favoration and how we avoid it. Uh, that, yeah, any, any, any of your comments may not be the answer, but your opinion. <laughs> it is a ethical, uh, it is a ethical matters. Yes, especially government projects uh, because I have personal experience also through my company. So uh it is there that's uh, ethically actually that uh, it should not be engaged but the, but in uh, it is it is like that in governments uh, i have recognized sometime during the tender during the tender process uh, or design stage sometime local government consultants officially they can't meet suppliers officially as per the guide sometime in the guidelines yeah but in dubai they are meeting and they are getting inputs for the design, but they are not doing any deal there generally. But Sri Lanka officially, it stopped, but unofficially, they will do uh, that uh, things. That's uh, ethical, ethical matters. But uh, I, I, I believe personally for the, they have to in design tender during tendering also, also they have to engage with the, uh, contractors or bidders during but not the for the not unethical matters for the share knowledge as i explained we have to be updated when you do the design because a lot of uh, government projects uh, when i came to sri lanka sometime uh, that time i i, I recognized a lot of specification na copy paste copy paste in same specification two system uh, have been discussed yeah, big project sometimes. Uh, I can't say the names, Naling. I think you know that's uh, it's, it's mixed. It's starting yeah. from different guidelines, finishing from different guidelines. It means copy paste. It, it, a, 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 we have to update our knowledge. We have to, uh, it's a two way communication always, but it should be done by the ethically, not for the deals and connection, for the uh, project point of view, for the good things. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minoj. Please, yes, please go ahead with yeah, please go ahead with your question. Yes, uh, Minoj, I have a problem with that uh, pre-construction, uh, that chart. Uh, you said that uh, uh, selected bidder get the 70% uh, uh, that uh, progress, but uh, you said that uh, 10 or 20 percent progress, we can start the main civil, uh, uh, especially uh, piling or something. How, how can we say that contractor is a separate contractor? Or that uh, what's the no, no, uh, it's uh, it's uh, that's why I explain explain there uh, during uh, for the civil works at the preliminary construction works like piling piling time because uh, big projects uh, because big projects uh, in uh, internet in some projects there are separate nominated contract do do the piling yeah mm -hmm. so that sometime piling works not the part of 
that main bidding process is a different contract but 100% they can't do i mean they they cannot start properly but uh, to minimize the time frame especially in middle east uh, for an example that like atlantis hotels they, that hotel is 1605 rooms big projects but construction period is 28 months yeah therefore during the tender they will start some works uh, in electrical side they 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 will nominate earth in earth in and lighting protection uh, subcontractors they will start but for the major works they cannot start but partially they have to identify they have to identify where they they uh, it can be started but some projects it cannot uh, it cannot be some projects uh, it can be done especially then a good example is Lu Museum in Abu Dhabi it is at adjacent to the sea that kind of projects is difficult to start yeah I think even we know that uh, the the concept of provisional sums also can play a good role. For example, like the lighting package or exactly. the central yes. central air package. So you can put some provisional sum. So then you can make the analysis of uh, the project and it's you can exactly give that, it to uh, I, I actually I missed to explain Naling. Uh, it's a uh, thank you for reminding that one. A uh, lot of projects we can recognize provisional sums there during the initial stage, but uh, when when during the pre construction time that provisional sums can be elaborated yeah so in uh, in in uh, so uh, that elaborated then all risk can be identified yes that is a good uh, opportunity while running pre-construction yes thank you thank you Minuj. and uh, there is a multi-million worth question that I, I don't know how you are going to answer it is there any source to get more knowledge about value engineering that would be big help uh, value engineering actually to do the value engineering uh, is the, there are uh, if you have to do value engineering you should have first you should have thoroughly knowledge about the technical matters which means the technical I will I will get uh, as I am an electrical engineer I will explain uh, in electrical point of view yeah uh, you should have good understanding about the theory about power distribution, where whatever the system engage with the projects, you should have proper understanding. Yeah. Then you should, then you will have knowledge of what are the systems you can allocate as an alternative. There are different models of power distribution, as I explained, with bus bar, without bus bar. Yeah. Then, then you should have proper technical knowledge. And when you have good uh, experience, if you have experience with the projects, yeah, then you will uh, automatically you will feel about this alternative option for saving options. Normally, value engineering, uh, what, when we were in Dubai, all experienced engineers, that's why in, the pre in any companies in Dubai, they place best team into the pre-construction team. Whoever perform in the construction, they in, in, in BK Gulf, they made an A team. Yeah, A. They recognize all every evaluation, good performance, they put pre-construction team. Then that value engineering things will come with the experience and the knowledge. Yeah. We there are no any books to read the good value engineering. This comes with the experience. Experience and the way you have interest. Yeah. I think you 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 were I mean you highlighted very well like awareness of other products maybe other contractors what they're going to do the new technologies the emerging exactly market those are the key areas I think if you are vigilant enough then obviously we can go for a good value engineering yeah, and for an, uh, yes uh, uh, Nali take a good example I will elaborate that for an example let's say BMS system BMS yeah. In, uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, sometime whoever in electrical engineers in construction field, you might hear BMS, IBMS, B building management system, integrated building management. For an example, uh, if you uh, can BMS and if you talk about higher project, you might hear IBMS. I, I do remember MOD project also is written as a IBMS. Yeah. Then when we participate to the bidding, sometimes like uh, that manufacturers are Honeywell, Normally, in, in, international reputed BMS manufacturers system integrators are Honeywell, Siemens, Johnson Control, etc. Yeah, but we, when you if you have experience with all brands, then some projects 
Honeywell system is better than Siemens. Cost and quality. That's how their management level, Honeywell. I think who has BMS experience, they know what I am to talking. Therefore, you should, you should know about other systems as well. Our total maker than again in no That's why whoever performed very well in the pre-construction period, especially these value engineering options, comes with experience, they will give high value for the company, the assets. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Vinod. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, especially the participants, we are not highlighting any products or brands, but this is for the purpose of explanation only. Yeah. And sometimes the better product, sometimes maybe the economical, sometimes the cost price, durability, it depends. And, and these better products will not remain as the better product every day because there could be different research and development. So the other product could overcome the same product could be in, in, in the market. So uh, I think the same thing, which I think the, the best part is from this discussion, even the previous week, Chaturu highlighted the planning engineer is not about all about just drawing the lines and these young engineers or young planners, young contract administration would not be the only people who's handling at the same time. I think the experienced people should be picked up for the pre-construction as well. Otherwise, in Sri Lankan context, sometimes you get some recently graduated or training quantity surveys and some new engineers to put this value engineering and make these estimations. So that's where we fail a lot and even especially in the consultancy firms also what we can see sometimes a draft one draw the drawings copying from some previous projects and they go with the tender document and with with the previous question itself i would like to add the same there was another question i think this is especially applicable for sri lankan context and what one of my friend viduranga highlighted that if we understand the tender design will not cater to the building requirement this happens especially in in our experience, the air conditioning, say for example, air conditioning, there are certain designs which may not be catering the requirements. Sometimes they, this, is, this may not be applicable in Middle East because we know that they are so experienced people. But in sometimes the Sri Lankan context, your design will not be really matched with the performance of the, the final performance of the building. So sometimes the contractor has to do value engineering, which could be increasing the cost. So how do you tackle this? Because see, making a value engineering proposal to increase the cost, obviously the reason to be disqualified as a contractor. So how how we manage this kind of a context, especially in tender negotiations? Uh, actually, Nadi, uh, uh, so that uh, tender negotiation, as you said, sometimes when we uh, when we study uh, study the systems. Sometimes we might feel that specification uh, will not uh, work. Uh, Sometimes with the time. Sometimes that the design stay, especially like ELE system or automation system. Okay, uh, that uh, 2020, for an example, 2015 specification has been written. 10 days, 2017, but project is executed 2020. Yeah. Therefore, some bidders, some bidders only price the as per the specification, but some uh, good bidders, experienced bidders, they uh, they will understand the risk. Yeah. But they have to explain. So if what they are pricing, then they can uh, they can do two pricing actually. When we we were in Dubai, we we have faced uh, similar issues. Yeah. Then what we did, what we are doing, we price ba we price the main system base we, we call base bit or base system and value engineering. That value engineering might increase the cost. Yeah. Then. During the tender interviews or meetings, we have to explain. We have to explain to the risk. If we stick with that, the risk with the uh, main design or tender design, this is the risk. But this is the alternative option, which might which increase the cost, mitigate the risk. Yeah. Then that the client or project management team that the uh, they will understand. If they understand, then they 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 will understand. If we explain properly technically, yeah. If they not under, if they said no, stick with that. It it will be recorded during the tender clarifications. In the future, if something happened to the that system, so that the client has to pay to the contractor for the variations, yeah. 
but sometime as you said if if we not properly convey that message sometime that bidder that bidder will lost the job during the tender that is the risk yeah so i will i i will give good example yeah during uh, when we bid the cleveland clinic time i said you we lost the job cleveland clinic abu dhabi yeah that is we bid the 2000 we started bidding process 2010 in that project they have announced cat 6a cat 6a cable for the cat 6a that that was i think first time uh, very initial time cat 6a came to the world they mentioned cat 6a job got by eta eta said the system we can run the system by cat 6 but later i we we hear they had a issue issue with that issue with that elv system then later contractor come for the bk gulf again can you take elv package but our company said no we are mep contractor we need entire things therefore we will not take so that kind of experiences are are there sometimes it's a success sometimes it's a risk to uh, lost the job but if you are i think if if we know that is not good to have value engineering uh, base bit there's a risk it is better to not to participate otherwise in the future we are in the risk if we not have proper risk register uh, that uh, analyze properly record thank you yeah. thank you thank, thank you vinoy and now uh, see i would i would amalgamate two questions now in in chat box number one is if one contractor comes with good value engineering proposal will there a possibility to expose to others because it's i think that it's kind of a secret at midway in between when people are in competition so is there, are they going to like maybe sharing the same value engineering concept and get the price from everybody or how it will happen that's uh, number one yeah and i would like to include another one i could remember in japanese context if you are doing a value engineering proposal maybe at the post contractual stage maybe and there could be say if it is 100 million saving then it could be shared 50 50 by the contractor and the client so these two concept can you please uh, elaborate number one first one is how this value engineering proposals would it be shared by the other contractors at the pre construction stage or it would be kept as confidential or secret proposal and the other one is post contractual actually actually for the international uh, practice Uh, you, uh, that the client can't share value engineering proposals contractually you can't yeah the uh, reason how, how it comes is, is it is it under it is contract yeah yes under the find the or find the yes there's a non disclosure that. agreements here yes exactly for the value engineering uh, sometimes we have uh, practice in sri lanka in dubai you know value engineering proposal they are spending lot of time on that sometimes months some sometime uh, five months six months value well, engineer therefore to start to do before you start there's a agreement they can't close in if in the future if recognized they shared with the other bidder they can cla- claim uh, from that yeah so in dubai it's uh, you cannot be done but sri lanka i know it's happening yeah <laughs> because there are i know one uh, japanese company sometimes they are very engineering proposal is uh, sharing with others yes i i think you know oh, what type of thing okay, so we'll we'll stop this conversation from that for no 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 we have another raise hand from uh, dilini thompson i think uh, you have you ask a second uh, you ask second Dilini question was uh, how to share this value engineering at the, at the yes, post contract stage uh, yes it is uh, it is been shared like uh, 50 50 uh, general practice because uh, i do remember atlantis also like uh, that uh, atlantis also like bus bus some packages uh, we shared uh, 50 50 among the contractors and uh, they yeah All right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, there's another question. Uh, I'm quite uh, struggling to f- find out the meaning. How to calculate life cycle inventory summary based on functional unit? How to uh, calculate life cycle inventory summary? Lifetime yeah, summary. Can you please, can, can you please uh, see this chat box? Can uh, can, uh, can uh, explain more about that question? I think who who raised that question is he K- can. K K. It it should be Kulatunga. K M R B Kulatunga. I can understand first part. I mean, what the functional unit was working with. 
alternates maybe maybe the systems maybe he refers okay until he comes uh, dilini thompson was there with a hand raised do you have a question still okay seems we are done with the question and there's another what is the what is the role of bi bim in such mega projects and how we can get that knowledge in sri lanka so it's obviously you have to follow bim or revit course <laughs> and it is very very easy it, yes. it is very much important in uh, modern construction in dubai it's uh, high in all not only bim uh, bim and they practice uh, all projects now i think uh, you are aware now uh, like project management tools are there like uh, econex yeah all pro it's a all mega project project management tool for the whole uh, submissions yeah you should be aware of that bit if you, if you are willing to go to the middle east uh, cons not only middle east <laughs> any international regions yeah yes especially even in the the, the document controlling method you you don't exactly print everything and submit to there are some approval process and there are all submissions yes. so so it's yeah as for the specification there's another question comes okay just came in as per the specification the contractor is responsible for the work if the engineer instructed to con conduct the particular work as per the as per his requirement based on his observation and if got failed who will be responsible finally nani can you can you repeat it again yeah as per the specification the contractor is responsible for the work okay that's contractor's work and if the engineer instructed to conduct the particular work as per his requirement based on his observation and if got failed who will be responsible i'm also yeah, struggling no, yeah yeah no i, I will uh, i will explain what i understood yeah so in international practice uh, so the design uh, for the design sometime for the value engineering that proposal value engineering or any design changes uh, if contractors to willing to do so that uh, as requested by engineer or client normally they ask in the insurance for the that uh, design uh, things insurance things yes. there is pi so, the then they will professional yes, professional indemnity insurance yes. then they will cover uh, cover from that if any fails but uh, normally that the if engineer starts to do the contractors to do the design role Uh, if you don't have insurance kind of thing so some companies don't have that then uh, that responsibility has to uh, take by the uh, not the consultant has to take by the consultant and the client together in written yes so those kind of things contractors has to uh, sign that's why i said there's a risk register for the projects so some risk with the contractor some risk with the con consultant so we should have proper risk assessment with the who's responsible for that yeah thank you thank you minujan there was another hand raised by norbert joseph uh, now it has been removed i guess norbert joseph okay sanjay do we have any more questions Now oh, sorry, na. There is no more question. Oh, yeah. Now Chana ka samarji ka stress is there. Chana, Chana ka, you can ask your question. Uh, I'm Chana ka. Uh, regarding uh, it is related to a electrical project or gantry uh, design and build project. At the initial stage in a gantry, there is a option called uh, bypass. Uh, bypass. Uh, isolated so that uh, contractor and employer agreed for a uh, uh, abs as bypass uh, uh, isolator and laterly contractor uh, inform the employer that uh, we could do we could do that work with normal uh, ddl or switch and uh, we agreed for a, a abs so that they they required a, um claim for that same for that so in that case it is somewhat like uh, value engineering work maybe he is explaining such a way but uh, initially it was not discussed on what will be the claim and other things so how that kind of uh, situations should address as a employer point of view 
that uh, in uh, such situation so that's why i said uh, if any if you propose i uh, as you explained that uh, with the examples if you propose uh, such kind of uh, systems such kind all parties uh, uh, should agree should agree for the, that value engineering or design uh, change uh, design changes uh, if it uh, fails if it fails uh, so that uh, with the with the agreement, so that if that responsibility with the contractor, uh, contractor has to take that uh, responsibility. Yeah. So the value engineering normally, it's a contract is proposing value engineering. Therefore, that uh, he has that uh, responsibility, equal responsibility with the consultant and the client. That's why normally we profit also sharing uh, half half something like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Am I answered that question well? Chanakla Monaharit, Chanakla Tironang, good answer. Chanakla Kiwadi? Oh, Vitanja, Pashne Unime Sumanoj, initially, Tikre bypass relay cut, bypass arrangement, Kieneka. I thought in a design stage, Jakedi, Agrivenova, ABA Secretariano Gila. ABA secretary, isolator secretary, and again, uh, pass a Avasani implement stage. The contractor uh, proposed Karnoa, they could do it with the normal DDA load, and with employer's uh, request, they have changed it to isolator. So he they request in that point, they request a claim for, for the variation for that uh, initial agreement. I want to know whether. That should be uh, considered by uh, in the point of view of uh, employer. Okay, uh, that uh, in 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 such in such cases in such cases, so that uh, if if something in the design, if something in the design, if let's say you are the contractor, but uh, in the under value engineering or. Uh, under some uh, contest, uh, you propose some alternative method, alternative methods to uh, that one. In the later stage, later stage, if the client, client or consultant asks to do that uh, such changes, yeah. So, but uh, if if technically and you are you are, if you are correct, then uh, they have to pay for your variation as it has been agreed. At the uh, at the middle stage or beginning, the reason is you also you might be purchased already, and you might take the already that workmanship you already done. Yeah, if you are not in such, if you are not purchased or if you are not uh, done any material or workmanship, then uh, you can change. But sometimes you can charge if if any drawings or if any technical matters included with that changes, you can charge only for the technical matters. Yeah, for the variation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Minoj, and thank you, Chanak, for your question. And uh, Sanjay, hope we can move ahead with the conclusion. Yes, yes, Mr. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And especially Minoj. Uh, I know for a fact that you are a very busy person and especially on a Sunday evening spending, not just spending these two hours, but I, I saw from your presentation, there were a lot of animations, there were a lot of homework and preparation. I'm sure that you have spent good two, three weeks for this presentation and we have shared this presentation as well. So that's all together for the betterment of our professionals, not only engineers, there are a lot of quantity surveys and there were certain contract administrators, especially young, professionals. So apart from the present, the content of the presentation, I'm sure that you have set a good example of how you have to perform, how we have to think out of the books and how you have to be ready to take challenges. And I'm sure that we as Sri Lankans, we are ready to take challenges and especially in this type of a, a difficult situation. So it's all about using and utilizing our knowledge and our brain to make our country a different place and a better place. So with that remark, thank you very much, Minoj, uh, spending your time. And do you have any final remarks to make, Minoj? 
Uh, actually, uh, th thanks, uh, Nalim, for uh, the opportunity uh, opportunity to given to me because uh, you know that uh, because uh, this kind of similar lectures uh, I done for some companies as well, foreign companies. But uh, for the Sri Lankan engineers, I think uh, previously you and me discussed personally also that uh, we did pre uh, free education from Sri Lanka as we work in Dubai, we know how valuable for that because foreigners in foreigners did a lot of investment of their uh, degrees and the uh, primary education. Therefore, uh, we have to do something for Sri Lanka. So I am always uh, ready for uh, this kind of things uh, to allocating time actually. Uh, but uh, always, uh, as I explained, there are challenge lot now in Sri Lankan engineers, a lot of challenges are there. Yeah, but as a theory also, we know challenges will make opportunities. Yeah, actually, this is uh, all engineers uh, don't get uh, any bad in during this, uh, this one. You have to take this one as a revolutionary change in your career, local country and international countries. Now, good chance to you to the work in international projects because international construction is uh, uh, evolving and dying dynamic uh, therefore i would uh, very much happy to uh, share uh, this uh, my knowledge and experience with uh, sri lankan uh, engineers uh, you know naling i do i am not a permanent lecturer for the i, I do guest lectures and nowadays i am not that much participating in the local lectures because i don't have time time but uh, as you but uh, you invited me so i can't refuse as you, our friendship and things uh, okay Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the audience as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minoj. And thanks, thanks for your generosity. And obviously, I know apart from uh, the friendship and being a good friend for a longer time, I know that you are a good gentleman, always ready to serve nationally. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that we we cannot learn everything within just two hours' time, but I'm sure that the window opened by Minoj and the, the areas he has explored and showed that, okay, those are the paths. I'm sure that uh, there we have to explore by ourselves and get the help from seniors and try to engage as much as from this international context and try to make your career developed, have your own businesses developed and, and ultimately to make this country a prosperous place. With that remark, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us. And I have to mention again about the training unit of uh, CECB and CESL, especially the names, led by the training unit, led by engineer Chandana and helped by Sarasi. And there are some special teams from CESL as well, engineer Ishani, Dilum, and the people behind the screen whom you cannot see visibly, especially Mr. Sanjay and our Zoom master as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your contribution. And we have done four sessions out of eight. So we are halfway through. The session and I'm sure that we are getting more and more knowledge and exposure. We'll try to do our best to bring these professional careers to improve. On behalf of CECB, I would like to thank you very much for all of you to being a good and a brilliant audience. We'll see you hopefully by next Sunday by 7.30 with another good session. Thank you very much and have a pleasant evening. Good night.